Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jaydeep Varinskar. I am an ophthalmologist and a senior vitreoretina surgeon. I practice at Aditya Jyot Eye Hospital, which is a unit of Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital, located in central Mumbai at Vadala West, opposite SIWS College. Today I'll be discussing with you about a condition which affects the eye called high myopia. Now what is high myopia? It is nothing but high minus or negative power in your spectacles above 6 diopters that is my, more than minus 6 and that is called high myopia. Now why is it important for us to know about this? Because this condition not only affects your vision because of the high power but also affects the back part of your eye called the retina. So the retina in patients with high myopia undergoes degeneration slowly over the years and it is directly proportional to the amount of myopia that the patient has. So the more myopia or high minus power present, the worse is the degeneration of the retina over the years. So we need to be aware about this condition which affects people with high minus power in their spectacles and these people are prone to getting multiple retinal disorders as they age. So the most common condition which high myopes develop is retinal detachment and this retinal detachment needs to be corrected surgically so it is always better to meet your retina specialist regularly, get your retina checked every six months to one year to see if there is any risk of developing a retinal detachment. In case the doctor says that there are certain weak spots or holes in the retina in these people, they can be easily treated with a simple OPD based laser treatment and that can prevent the patient from developing a retinal detachment. The second most common condition people with high myopia develop is macular degeneration. Now macula is the central 3 millimeters to 5 millimeters area of the retina which is the most important for vision. With age people with high minus power or high myopia develop degeneration in this crucial area which can potentially lead to decreasing vision and blindness in the later half of life. So, People with high myopia need to check their retinas regularly and make sure that there is nothing which needs immediate attention. The third condition which high myopia can have is sudden drop in central vision due to bleeding or leakage under the macula. Now in these people early intervention with some injections inside the eye can easily treat this problem and reverse the drop in vision and patient can get back or salvage vision which is, can be potentially damaged if untreated. So these are the common three conditions which high myopia people develop in the retina. Besides these people with high myopia can have inherently weak vision since childhood because of undetected uh, spectacle power and spectacles not given at the right age. This is called lazy eye. So all children should be screened at school going age to look for myopia and refractive error that is having glass powers. As they grow up every year annual retina checkup is required for children with high myopia throughout their age, throughout their life and at the earliest sign of any drop in vision, these people should visit their retina specialist and get themselves treated and prevent blindness from high myopia. Thank you.